Hello there, welcome to the channel. This is Vinod Narayan. Today, I have a, a pretty big book that I want to introduce. It's about history. So when I was a kid, when I, I liked history classes, but for some reason, history was all about, uh, it was not about stories or it was not about narratives. It was not about what happened. It was when it happened. Like you had to mug up all these dates and uh, I mean, if someone could teach history <laughs> so bad, I think that there are probably the teachers in school. And 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 I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I think I think that's what that's how it had to be taught for us to get uh, get marks in the exam. But but history is much more than that. I had a thought that I knew history because I've learned history for about 10 years of my uh, uh, my school, 11th and 12th, I didn't have to take history because I took maths and uh, science. But 10 years, I've uh, in one way or the other, I've learned history, Indian history, world history, everything. And I thought I knew a lot about Indian history till I decided to read Ram Guha's India after Gandhi. And it's, a, it's a, about 760 pages, I think and takes you after independence, the history of India. And uh, I think it's a fascinating book. I realized how much I did not know. Uh, and I'm, I don't think this is complete either because there are, there are going to be many other uh, narratives, many other ways of looking at it, many other details that probably the author did not detail here and uh, you could you could keep reading. I mean, double clicking on this book, there's a lot that you could read. But I think if if you want to start learning about Indian history uh, post independence, he's also written uh, uh, India before uh, in Gandhi uh, two books on Gandhi, which also I got from the library, but uh, they are equally like about 800 900 pages, and I don't think I'll be able to make that. I need to return this book and I'll read it uh, probably probably sometime later. But I think I think this is a great start for people to start knowing what are the things that happened, how difficult it was. Because when I was reading this book, one thing that came to my mind and author keeps mentioning about it is, is uh, that, uh, you know, when India got independence, there were so many different states, different religions, different cultures, different languages, different dress codes, whatever. They were so different, so much diversity. Everyone in the West kind of thought that it's not possible for us to remain as a, as a nation. And now, years later, when you look back, you think, oh, that would have been easy. Like, like we consider democracy, we consider freedom all for granted. We take it for granted. We think that it just happened. But it's important for us to read history, to really go through the struggles, even the difference of opinion among the founding fathers and the founding mothers who were part of building this nation. And, and how, how after all these things, they could, they could make this democracy survive and be there. The largest democracy in the world. And it's easy to have a democracy in a place where there is uniformity. And, and that, that's what is fascinating in India. That it is the largest democracy with that much diversity. Even people were against, uh, uh, against having states in the line of, uh, in, in terms of uh, language. People said that that would, that would create, create states to be on their own and not be part of the union, part of the country. But we are still, yes, we are proud to be a Maharashtrian, a Malayali, a Kannadiga, a Tamilian, Gujarati. We are proud for all those. But at the same time, there is something that binds us. And that's what is important. I think uh, we take a lot of things for granted and reading history and reading and 
maybe there are better books, maybe there are other books, but I just wanted to recommend this because this is what I just read. And I think this is, this is probably the most significant uh, history book that I've, uh, I've read in recent times about India. Um, maybe there are other books, but at least starting to read is very important because, and why do we need to read history? We need to read history in order to ensure that we keep the democracy intact, we keep freedom intact, we ensure that the pluralism that exists, the diversity that exists within our nation, that everyone, everyone, even if it's just few of those people, they feel welcomed, they feel part of the society, they think this society, this place is theirs. And I think, I think that's very important. So for a lot of people out there, if there's one book that you want to read, read Ram Guha's India After Gandhi. And then the other two books as well. Uh, the History of the World's Largest Democracy. In fact, I think I should have read this book before. I met um, Ram Guha in person when I attended the Kerala Literature Festival in 2020. And I even took a selfie. <laughs> and when looking, and I saw Ram Guha and I knew uh, uh, who Ramayadar Guha was. I've uh, never read any of his books. I've, uh, I've more been acquainted with him uh, on, uh, on, the, on uh, the, the comments that he used to make on the, uh, on the public forum, uh, but not through his book. And, I, uh, I, and still, that's what we do, right? We meet a person, uh, we know that the person is famous. You take a selfie with that person. And now when I, when I read, I, th I think this book that I read, I think that experience is much more bigger, much more important to me than probably having a selfie with the author. Um, and I think, I think next time I, if I were to meet him, I definitely would like to give him a hug. So, because, you know, once you read a book, and you become part of it, you start having a connection with the, with the author. Uh, because throughout the book, you're traveling with the author. Uh, as, as, uh, as you read the book, as it's independence, uh, we, we get independence and then we, we go through all the problems that we have. The author takes you, stops at places, shows us what's happening. And, and there, is, there is obviously going to be a version of the author's view of the world and the history, but that's okay. Uh, and, and one thing I liked about uh, uh, Ram Guha is that he doesn't say that this is the only way that you can look at it. There are many ways you could probably look at it. And can you complete everything in 760 pages? No, not for the largest democracy with so much diversity, so many things happening. You cannot, you cannot cover it all in 760 pages. So I think it's much beyond that. But only when you read this book, when you go through that, that many pages, do you understand how mammoth an effort it was and how big it is. You guys should read it, India after Gandhi. So it's after, after Gandhi's uh, assassination, in fact, not after independence, it's after Gandhi's assassination. So, uh, I think, I think you should read it. You guys take care. Be content, be pen positive, stay safe, and please, please be kind. Thank you.